Hello again, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. I've got a really beautiful little guitar to share with you folks today. This comes from my good friend Jeff Jewett from Jewett Guitars out of Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We've got, a, like I said, a beautiful little guitar from Mr. Jewett. This is a 00C. This is a 14 fret guitar. And this is from Jeff's Artist Series of Guitars. This is a beautiful example of one of his Artist Series uh, double O C models or double O cutaway models. They said this is a 14 fret guitar. This happens to be a short scale example. This is a 24.9 inch scale length. We've got a lot of beautiful details. Uh, and of course it features Jeff's uh, famous voicing and famous finish work as well, which we will uh, gladly take a look at here. You can see the top that we started with is a truly beautiful Italian spruce top. We've got Jeff's classic vintage sunburst finish on there, kind of a nice tobacco-y vintage sunburst on there. Really a beautiful color, very classic style sunburst. You see that rosette is anything but classic though. That's a generous uh, ring of spalted maple. And man, oh man, the way that those colors play and really pop out of that nice dark sunburst is just a thing of beauty, man, I'll tell you. Purfled around there really nicely just to give it great separation. We have a very simple purfling on the top of the guitar itself, just in a black and white purfling there. And the the, uh, the body of the guitar is uh, bound in Ibano rock light. So nice, uh, nice sturdy binding material there and just jet black all the way through, really nice. Back and sides of this guitar are a serious, serious set of East Indian rosewood, perfectly straight grain dead perfectly quarter sawn and man what a gorgeous color almost has uh, hints of like a coco bolo kind of color to it nice rich reds in there but like i said just a beautiful straight grain and i'll tell you what this ought to be a very stable set of wood for the long haul i would think being such a nice quality like this all the way up on the headstock you can see a beautiful ebony veneer we've got the uh the signature cat eye inlays there right in the center of the headstock. I just love that headstock shape as well as the uh, the nice little volute that he puts on the back of the headstock here. We have the Cosmo Black Godo 510 tuning machines. Nice modern touch for a guitar like this and uh, doesn't get much smoother or much more accurate than the Godo 510s. Just perfect, perfect choice here. We've got the one and three quarter inch nut width and we have Jeff's transitional finger style neck, meaning the uh, the first couple positions here, we've got a nice soft, and I tell you, exceptionally comfortable V profile. And I'll tell you, it's a soft V profile. So if you're hearing that and getting nervous about a, a real pronounced modified V, don't be. It's a, it's a mild feel, but a very comfortable feel. Uh, as I said, that transitions into more of a C profile as you get up higher on the neck here. Uh, again, very comfortable. It does not taper into a terribly thick neck either. So if you're the type of player that does capoing up high and you need some real estate up, up high on the neck here comfortably, this is going to be a good setup for you. As I said, one and three quarter at the nut. We've got two and a quarter spacing down here at the uh, Ebony Belly Bridge. I should mention the uh, the fingerboard of this guitar is actually African Blackwood. Just again, kind of a cool touch. Uh, African Blackwood is not something I will ever uh, kick out of the spec list. Always good to see. So. Uh, the uh, the bracing in this guitar uh, is actually a matching Italian spruce to match the Italian spruce top, and it's a combination of uh, both tapered and scallop braces uh, to get the voicing that Jeff wants out of his uh, double O's. And his double O's, especially the 14 fret cutaway, exactly what the, the configuration that I'm holding here, they've got a bigger sound than most double O's out there and a more vibrant, uh, more vibrant sound with more presence as well think more in the range of an OM or even sometimes a little bit bigger than an OM. You'll hear the bass response is exceptional. And it has really exceptional balance through the mids and sparkling trebles as well, which this guitar just has all of that in a nice complex voice. So we will uh, very gladly take a listen to this beauty now.
Thank you.